What's up, Prize Five fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is a battle between two of the baddest 4G LTE phones Verizon has to offer. It's a Prize Five punch out between the Motorola Droid Razor Max and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Brian Sings Like Tony Bennett, senior associate editor Jessica Tennis Goldcourt, and myself, Ring a Ling a Ding Tong. Now we'll take all three judges' blind scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. It's five rumble and tumble rounds. First is design. The Motorola Droid Razor Max takes its previously skinny form factor and fills it with more battery, giving us a better balanced design with its 4.3-inch HD AMOLED display. Its build quality is top-notch with a Kevlar backing that actually might stop bullets and a water-resistant nano coating. Now the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is slightly more narrow and it's easier to hold, but it brings a larger screen at 4.65 inches of HD AMOLED glory. It also brings us one of the first curved glass displays with smooth rounded corners and a textured backing. Now I personally love its contour design, but the premium build of the Razer Max takes this round with a 4.7 and the Galaxy Nexus gets a 4.3. Next round is user interface and controls. It can't be any more different here. The Razer Max brings its best iteration of the Moto Blur interface with its social networking hooks. I'm a big fan of their lock screen with quick access to the camera or muting the sound, but this is still running on top of gingerbread with a vague promise of ice cream sandwich in the future, and it's holding it back. The Galaxy Nexus brings us the sweetest flavor of Android yet, and we love the clean look and feel of the ice cream sandwich UI. Settings within apps can be a little frustrating because they're in different places, You'll have the facial recognition unlocked if you're into yourself, which I am, and other bells and whistles like data usage tracking. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, and it's the difference maker here. The Galaxy Nexus gets a perfect five, and the Razer Max gets a four. So after averaging two rounds, Samsung leads by three tenths of a point. Next round is features. These phones are feature-packed freaks of nature with dual-core processors and 4G LTE connectivity, but the Motorola Razr Max stands out with its 16 gigs of internal storage and an expansion slot supporting up to 32 gigs. It brings an HDMI out port, Bluetooth 4.0 support, and web top functionality. Plus, on the software side, it's smart actions that changes aspects of your phone depending on what you're doing are unique and useful. Now, the Galaxy Nexus brings us a sharper screen that really can't be beat, and 32 gigs of internal storage is a hefty amount, but there's no expansion options. You'll need a dock for HDMI out, and one of its killer features, NFC, works for beaming contacts and info to limited phones, but its Google Wallet feature has been crippled by Verizon. The Razer Max swings back with a perfect five, and the Galaxy Nexus gets a four. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. Web browsing on both phones is almost a push, but on the Galaxy Nexus, its sharper screen is evident here on top of having an updated browser with features like saving a page for offline viewing. Now, when it comes to viewing multimedia, again, Samsung comes out on top with a bigger screen and a crystal clear image quality that will make you double take. Now with the cameras, the Razer Max's 8 megapixel eyeball took clear shots for some scenes, but the colors were more washed out overall compared to Samsung's 5 megapixel sensor. So it's no surprise, the Galaxy Nexus takes this round with a perfect 5, and the Razer Max gets a 4. So after averaging 4 rounds, Samsung still leads by 2 tenths of a point, it's still anyone's fight, and the final round that decides it all is call quality and performance. Both of these phones have solid call quality overall. At times, the Galaxy Nexus might be described as a little tinny, but that's being nitpicky. Now, the Droid Razor Max's battery life is its claim to fame, and it delivered with 20 plus hours of talk time in our CNET test. It's the best of any 4G LTE phone on the market that will last you from the morning through your lunchtime break, all the way through dinner, and when you wake back up, it's amazing. And if you want to watch a movie, our tests at 50% screen brightness lasted 19 hours and 47 minutes straight. That's just plain dirty. The Razer Max delivers in the final round with a perfect five, and the Galaxy Nexus gets a four. So let's average out all five rounds, and in a prize fight where the Galaxy Nexus took a lead early, the Razer Max fought back in the final round, and we end up tied at 4.5 points apiece. But you know, we're here to find a winner, and we go to the hundreds of a point where the Motorola Droid Razer Max takes this battle 4.54 to 4.46 and is your prize fight winner. 
This was another epic battle that could have gone either way, but it ultimately comes down to if you want the Galaxy Nexus with Android's most modern operating system, or you want the Razer Max that can hold its own and will last you days. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time for another prize fight. Oh! What's this? Ah!